beloved? We all page 239, 239, and today is the healing of the paralytic. now and forever. Jesus Christ, our Lord, you carry the sins of the world and you forgave the sins of the paralytic. You cured him and had him carry his mat in front of the crowd. Make us worthy to meditate on your amazing miracles and strengthen us with the power of your forgiveness. May we share in the grace of your redemption to glorify and thank your Father and your Holy Living Spirit now and forever. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Father who wanted us to share in the mystery of his love, and to the Son who came into the world to heal suffering humanity with the help of his, of his grace, and to the Holy Spirit who dropped down the dew of his consolation upon the broken hearts. To the good one be glory and honor on this blessed Sunday and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. O Christ, the only begotten Son and Word of the Father, you came down to us in your mercy and compassion. You chose to show the extent of your affection and love by telling the paralytic to take up his mat and to walk in the sight of the crowd that all might believe in your divinity. You restored joy to the suffering paralytic and forgave his sins. We thank and praise you for the great gift that you have given the church. In your name, she absolves sins and forgives those who repent. Now, Christ, O oh Lord, we ask you with the fragrance of this incense to extend your mighty hand upon us. Come to us with the power of your forgiveness. Confirm our faith in you and implant us in the memory of your divine <clears throat> miracles and teaching. Baroshkone. We glorify and thank you, our Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
purify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise with purity and listen to your own descriptions to you be glory forever. Let down the mat 
on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now, some of the scripts were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, we, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded <coughs> and glorified God, saying, we have never seen anything like this. This is the truth. Peace be with you. sisters. Visible, active, and ongoing, ongoing faith is at the heart of our gospel today. The story of the paralytic healed by Jesus. It is good to ask, whose faith is it that saves him and makes him whole? Mark, the evangelist, does not say that it is only the man face. <clears throat> Instead, he writes that Jesus saw their face. The paralytic's friend are the ones who brought him to the house where Jesus was. When they could not enter because of the crowds, they climbed onto the roof. They were the ones who made a hole large enough to fit him. They carried him up onto the roof, and they were the ones to lower him into Jesus. How great and awesome must their faith in Jesus have been for them to do all those things for the sake of their friend. And today, my brothers and sisters, how many of us Help the sick, help the people sins, help everyone to get him, bring him to Jesus Christ, to church, to meet Jesus. How many? Each one of us should start thinking in his life. Starting by me, how many people <coughs> around me paralytic, sick, and I can help him to come to Jesus. Because Jesus saw the paralytic guy and his friends. They all believe these guys, they don't know it's Jesus. This guy, this prophet, he can do something. And he did because Jesus had the authority to heal everybody every humankind, only he wants our answer, our answer. Jesus, have 
mercy on me. Billy, I believe in you. Please help me. Please help me. That's why, my brother and sister, I will ask you today, do one act of charity every day to help one sick, one sick guy, to bring some people to cheer to meet Jesus. And first of all, first step, let each one of us come to Jesus first and ask him. And then let your friend, your neighbor, your followers, I don't know, come to Jesus with you, with you to Jesus Christ. That's why today the parable of paralytic again and again ask us about our mission. We are in mission. We are not here to be in social, to eat, drink, live our life. We are in mission. And what does this mission is? To love each one of us, our neighbors, our relatives, our family, all the human being, and bring him to Jesus. Bring him to Jesus. That's why. And I will tell you today, and today, my brother and sister, we have one of the saints. His name Joseph. He hear about the Savior, but Joseph, he listened. In silent, all his life in silent, he listened in silent what Jesus wanted. He listened to the angel and he don't say anything, any word, <coughs> any word. Saint Joseph, my brother and sister, is the humble saint, obeyed the word of God. He obeyed the word of God. He trusted the word of God. That's why, that's why today is the feast of Saint Joseph, the silent, the silent saint. Why he silent? Because he won't, he need to listen. Nobody listen today to the Jesus, nobody. All people talk, 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 talk. Nobody listen. I ask you, I beg you, take one minute to listen to the word of God, the gospel. One minute or two minutes. But every day, not once a year, every day, one sentence, two sentences only. Listen, listen. Training to listen Jesus' word. He's in the gospel. That's why, brother and sister, don't be afraid again and again to be like the paralytic. He believed Jesus will help him. And like Saint Joseph, he listened the word of God by the angel. Don't be afraid. Only make decision. I will be with you, Jesus, every day. Don't look to make not of work, not of miracles, not now. Now we are training to be saints. We are going to live in the kingdom of God. We are not going anywhere. Even if we are sinners, we are all sinners, don't worry. Let's ask Jesus to help you, to send the Holy Spirit to guide you to be in the kingdom of God. We are in mission. Each Christian, every Christian, believe in Jesus Christ. He is in mission. That's why, my brother and sister, only listen to Jesus Christ, the word of God, the gospel. Only. And we'll be in safe. If like, uh, hey, I have a lot of things to do. I am in safe. I have a lot of food. I have money, I am good health. Don't worry, he will help you. But he wants one thing. Every day when you wake up in the morning, have 
mercy on us, Jesus Christ. I believe in you. Help me in my life. I will be your missionary. I will be in mission and every day. When you work, when you go everywhere, you represent Jesus. You repre we represent Jesus Christ, our Savior, not yourselves. Again, don't be afraid to ask this every day. Some of you, like Saint Joseph, some of you also, like Saint Charbin, each one of us, each, each one of us should make his own journey. His own journey to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We proclaim our faith on page 748. We believe in one God.
Let's remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and His plan of salvation for us when we call upon this offering. O oh, who oh, have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Pedro, Saint Joseph, Saint <coughs> Charlie, Saint Patrick, Saint Anthony, and all their saints. Remember the God that you love the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, and our mothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered. For the punishment of Saint Joseph, remember also all those who share with us today in this offering.
those who have asked us to pray for them, those who desired but were unable to make an offering, and those who assist your holy church. Be a shelter and a refuge for them, for you are the Savior of all. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the civil leaders in our country and throughout the world. Enlighten their consciences to bring security and peace to your people. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the prophets, <clears throat> apostles, martyrs, and confessors, Saint Joseph, Saint Mary, Saint Jude, and all the saints. Assist us through their prayers and make us worthy of their reward. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the righteous fathers and teachers who have gone to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carried your gospel throughout the whole world and confirmed your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers and strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Favor of you, O Lord, our parents, brothers, and sisters, teachers, and all the faithful departed women everywhere, who have done to their best, especially all the faithful departed belong to this church. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses. Through our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness. For our sins and for theirs. And let us pardon God and forgive us and the depart, so that your blessing may be glorified in us and in all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit now and forever.
Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of it, and receive the blessing from the Lord. O oh Lord, bless your worshipful bow before you. And implore you, make them worthy of your birth and forgive their sins, for you are almighty and rich in compassion. We raise the glory and thanks to you, your Holy Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy Trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever.